What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Joel and the Wombles video. I hope you had a happy Christmas, I know what I did, um, unfortunately in these COVID times. But, let's begin with the main stuff, the reason you click on this video for the football chat. And we're going to talk about, of course, Tottenham, yet again, dropping points. Dropping points from winning positions, we have done it all season, we've thrown away silly points and that's probably why we're not going to be we're not going to be up there we're lucky that other teams are also dropping points now and this is how mental this league is this is how crazy it is that you can be winning it one minute and sixth the next so we played Wolves at Molyneux yesterday and it started ever so brightly we'll get into the first half it First attempt, ball knocked forward. And this is what we didn't see in other games. And it's sort of what, what we're not doing for a consistent 90 minutes. Ball knocked forward. Sonny gets in the run behind. Rui Patricio comes out and smothers the angle. And we win a corner. And from the resulting corner, it goes in. Ball partially cleared by Wolves. Falls to Ben Davies. Rolls it back to Tang and Dembele. And we are one in front. And this is an amazing start. We need to push forward. When we got this 1-0 lead and make sure we know that Wolves have got to come on to us. We know that. And the thing we've done so well this season is counter-attacking. We've been counter-attacking with Kane. We've been counter-attacking with Son, Lamella, Bass, players, Mora, everyone. We've been counter-attacking football. And it's been working. And it only works when you draw teams on if you are going to counter-attack. Otherwise, you are just inviting more and more pressure and you keep giving the ball back to the opposition and eventually the goals will come unless you can see that 1-0 win out. And we couldn't do it. We could not see the game out yet again. It's two points from 12. It's happened consistent weeks. So, in the game, not many chances. First half, apart from the goal reasonably even between Wolves and Spurs. We had the difference, which was the goal, and not a lot happened. Let's be honest. Not a lot went for either side in that first half. Second half comes out. You think, if I'm Mourinho, I tell my boys at halftime, get the first goal in the second half. This game then becomes put to bed. You don't have to worry if you get the second goal because Wolves have then got to chuck so many men at you that you can nick that goal on the counter attack. And you can win that game that way. And you can make it look really good by winning 3-0. Right? Apart from the fact that Spurs did what Spurs do best. And they just continually pass the ball back to Wolves. Continually. And it's almost like they couldn't get out. They couldn't get out because they weren't willing to. Um... Continually giving the ball back to Wolves and allowing them to come on to them. And inevitably, in the 86th minute, Roman Saiz from a corner scores. Now, I say Wolves deserve their point. From Spurs' aspect, it's absolute shocking defending. Rubbish in the second half. Giving the ball back. No pressure on the ball. Allowing Wolves to get on it. Not playing counter-attacking football as probably Mourinho wanted you to. You were too slow on the ball. You were dropping too deep. And that is a real issue. And again, I have to say, the game sort of changed when Tango and Dembele come off. Because he was the one player. Him and Hoybier were the two players that were looking really good for us. Tange was carrying the ball. Beating twos and threes. Going past people. But... You take him off, and then it's and then it's the last 20 minutes, and you know that Mourinho is going to put up a wall. Now, I don't disagree with the wall, even though it's not attractive. It's not good football. It's not going to be attractive football to watch. But if you are going to play that way, you have to see out results, and you are not seeing out results. This is the second time. Uh, this has happened in a matter of days. We saw it at Liverpool. We saw it at Leicester. And we've seen it at... Well, we didn't really see it in the Leicester game. But we've seen it at Molyneux as well. And Palace. That we've got two points from the last 12. And it's just not good enough. It's not good enough. 
unless, and I'm the first one to admit it as a Spurs fan, of course you're going to get gassed about being top of the league. Of course. But it's only if you're consistent. And you can't afford to have lazy weeks like we have had the past four games. Can't afford it. I know the games are piling up and thick and fast, but that's no excuse. You've got to be on the ball. If you want to win this division, you've got to win the majority of your games. You cannot afford to drop points to teams like Palace, Leicester and Wolves. Even though they're good teams, there's nothing against those teams. They're very good footballing teams, but you cannot afford to drop points. You didn't see Liverpool go and play Crystal Palace and drop points. You saw them batter them 7-0. You didn't see them play Wolves at uh, Leicester at home. And drop points. No, they battered them 4 0. You didn't see them play Wolves. Like, the majority of time with this division, you have to win games to win the league. The good thing for Spurs is that everyone is having a stinker of a year. Liverpool, Chelsea dropping points consistently, Arsenal dropping points, even though they beat Chelsea at the weekend, still dropping points consistently. But Spurs should take advantage of it. And it happens so often with Spurs. Is you look at them and you go, right, Chelsea have lost. Arsenal have lost. Liverpool have lost at the weekend. Can we take advantage of it? Can we do that? No, we can't. Because for some reason, when the pressure is on us and people go, oh, well, they can move up to third. They can move up to second. They can even go top of the table. We seem to have a psyche issue at Spurs where we just crumble under the pressure. And I know people will say you should be used to it. And it's, it's true. I am used to it. I am. I am. Even when watching that Wolves game, I always felt the Wolves are going to nick a late winner, a late equaliser. Because it's what's happened in the past games. They get to 80 minutes and something has got to be said. Yet again, we are conceding from simple set pieces. I can't remember the amount of headers that we've conceded this season. We're not conceding a lot of goals. This is the other thing I'll point out. We're not conceding a hell of a lot of goals. But just simple set pieces we cannot defend. Set pieces. Roman CS scored yesterday in the 86th minute. Equalised the game. Wolves well deserve their point from a header. Roberto Firmino beats us from a corner. Set piece with a header. Dominic Calvert-Lewin beats us from a set piece with a header at the first game of the season. Schlupp puts the ball in the back, back of the net from a set piece that Crystal Palace we gave away to Crystal Palace. West Ham scored two of their goals from set pieces. How many times have you got to be punished from a set piece to go? Um, maybe on the training ground. We should have a look at this. We could try and organise because he's got them really well set up. And some games we do it perfectly. Some games when we played City, when we played Arsenal, we did it perfectly. We defended everything. Anything that came in the box. He, Eric Dyer, to his credit, again, didn't have a bad game. Made it his. Went out. Challenged it. Put it straight out of the zone. But then you've got people like Davis and Sanchez giving chances to Pedence because he can't header a ball. And it's not good enough. It's not good enough if you want to win this league. And that's the that's the crux of the matter. If you want to win the league, you can't be conceded late, sloppy goals from set pieces. Let's hope for better results at home to Fulham. Um, we should be looking at that as a three-point game. Yes, they've got points at Southampton. They got points against Liverpool. But you're at home to Fulham. Let's batter them. I love Scotty Parker. I've got mad respect for the kid. But let's batter them. Let's go out there and absolutely do them over. Um, and we've got to be happy for 2021 to come because 2020 has been so poor. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I've been Joel and the Wombles and I'll catch you probably after the Fulham game. Thank you.